A civil rights summit could draw three former U.S. presidents and President Obama to Austin. It would be the largest turnout of U.S. presidents to the capital city ever. The LBJ Presidential Library will host the summit this coming April. KXAN's Kevin Schwaller joins us now with more on the plans that are underway. Kevin? Well, President Jimmy Carter and President Bill Clinton will speak. Organizers tell us they are finalizing details with President George W. Bush, and they've extended an invitation to President Obama. I'm about to sign into law the Civil Rights Act of 1964. And for the 50th anniversary of that signing, presidents will travel to Austin. The summit will recognize the civil rights movement in the 60s and also look ahead to the future. Organizers say those include immigration, education, and public engagement. Today we spoke with um, Wilhelmina Delco. She was the first African-American elected official in Austin. She also served in the state legislature. Delco remembers when the security when then-President Richard Nixon came to town in 1971 for the dedication of the LBJ Library. And Delco says this upcoming gathering is more than a crowd-drawing event for Austin. It isn't, a, it isn't a matter of just accumulating people to use the restaurants or the hotels. It's to hear a message and to put in perspective what has gone before and where we have yet to go. Delco calls President Johnson a strong advocate for civil rights. The summit runs from April 8th through the 10th. Representatives of the Johnson family and his administration, elected officials, and others are also set to attend. Kevin Schwaller, KXAM News. Kevin, thanks. With so many big names coming to Austin, we wanted to look at the issues that could affect you, traffic and security. We know most area agencies will be involved in protecting the president and former presidents, but they will not discuss any specifics publicly. The last time President Obama flew into Austin, ABIA officials told us there were some delays because they ordered a ground freeze, halting all movement on runways and taxiways. They told us they do that every time a president arrives in Austin, and it typically lasts about 15 minutes. We also saw some traffic issues on that last visit. The president's motorcade visited Maynard New Tech High School, the Capitol factory downtown, and applied materials in North Austin. Three locations on three different sides of the city, which hampered some people's efforts to get around town.